Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again, and this is the last video of the top selling product analysis. And in this video, we're going to see that how can you make the top end dynamic. As of now, what we have been doing is we have been writing measures where it, it has been the best selling product or the top three products or the top two products. But as of now, we are trying to make the top three, four, five, whatever it is dynamic, right? And for, for that, what we're going to do is we're going to be needing a disconnected table. And if I just take a look at the data sheet, I already have made a, a small table here. Uh, the name of the table is called top table and it has got five values. That means the user has the option of either finding out top one product, top two products, three products, four products or five products. So we're going to load this table quickly into Power Pivot. So Power Pivot, add to data model and the table comes right inside Power Pivot, right? Top and values. Now in this table, I'm going to write a small measure. So uh, I'm just going to go back to my Excel and in this table, I'm going to write a small measure. So if you just take a look at the top table, we have values here uh, and let me just write a small measure. So I'm going to write, what is the N value? N value. And the N value is going to be the maximum of uh, the uh, values in the top table. Now, as of now, you have uh, in the values column of this table, you have five values, which is one, two, three, four, five. And if you're trying to find the max of this, obviously this is going to give you five every single time. But when you apply a slicer on this, because of the filter context, it will give you an only one value, whichever value that you have selected. So this is going to work absolutely fine. So I'm um, just going to say, okay, this is the measure that I have created. And I'm, let me just create another pivot table also after creating the measure and let's just uh, take this out right and let's apply a slicer right here and keep the slicer on the top and let's just arrange the slicer in a, a vertical format so let's just put it right here all right now here the user can pick up one, two, three, four, five. But as of now, this is not affecting this at all. So um, I'm just going to take this measure that we made it in the last video uh, where I was uh, finding the name of the product as well as the sales of the product. Copy that. And I'm just going to say uh, make another measure and I'm just going to paste the same measure right here. And I'm just going to call this as top. Uh, product and sales dynamic right and over here right now if you just say take a look the number three is something that we are writing in manually right so over here I'm just going to insert the measure that we just made which is n value right so I am saying that hey why don't you pick up the n value from this so as of now four so it's going to give you uh, the products table with four rows. If I make it three, it's going to give you the product table with three rows, so on and so forth. It's just it's all good. And I get another measure. I just drag it here. Now, as of now, I have a table with four values. Just take a look. Uh, let me just increase the size of this. Uh, all right, so I have, a, I have a table with four values. So you can see that this is the first one the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. If I change it to one, I just have one value. If I change it to two, I have two values. If I change it to three, I have three values. If I change it to four, I have four values. If I change it to five, I have five values. And that's how you can kind of make uh, the N value completely dynamic using the disconnected table thing. All right, thanks so much for watching this. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them down in the comments below, and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thanks and you take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.